Okay, hold on. Are you seeing this? Is it real? I mean, if you told me last year that AI could create this, I would have laughed. But here we are. These mind-blowing videos you just watched, yeah, all generated by Google's new VO3. And honestly, it's kind of turning the internet upside down right now. The videos it's generating are so incredibly realistic, so true to life, that you can barely even tell they are created with AI. So in this video, we're going to dive deep into the new Google VO3 model, and more importantly, we're going to create some incredible videos together. What truly sets it apart from previous AI video models and even some of its current competitors is its incredible leap in realism. We're talking about native audio generation, meaning it doesn't just create the visuals, it adds dialogue, sound effects, and even music. All perfectly synced to what's happening on the screen. It understands the physics of the world, so objects move and interact believably, and it maintains incredible consistency with characters and elements across longer clips. Just a heads up before we jump in, VO3 has just been released, and while it's rapidly rolling out, it's not yet available in every single country around the world, but don't worry, Google will make it accessible globally soon. And even if you can't get your hands on it right this second, this video will give you an idea of its incredible capabilities and what's coming. Alright, enough talk about what it can do, let's actually do it. If you're ready to start creating your own mind-blowing videos with VO3, here is how you get started. First, you'll need to sign up for the Google AI Ultra Package, that's your getaway to accessing VO3. Once you're subscribed, you'll then navigate to Google Flow. Think of Google Flow as your creative hub, a collaborative workspace where Google brings together their cutting-edge AI models for various tasks, from text generation to video creation. Once you're all set up and logged in, you'll land on a dashboard that's actually quite simple and straightforward, very similar to what you might expect from other generative AI platforms you've used. You'll see a clean, dark interface with a prompt box right in the middle, inviting you to type in the prompt box to start. Before we type anything though, let's look at a few key settings. Right below the prompt box, you'll notice a drop-down. This first drop-down gives you a few options for how you want to generate your video, you have text to video, this is what we'll be focusing on, simply typing in a description and letting VO3 to create the video. Frames to video, this allows you to generate a video from existing image frames, giving you more control over the visual starting point. And then we have ingredients to video, this is a more advanced option where you can combine various elements or ingredients to create a complex video. First we're going to test text to video. It's the most direct way to see VO3's raw power. Now let's adjust a couple more crucial settings. If you click the settings icon, you'll open up the generation parameters. First you'll see outputs per prompt. This lets you choose how many different video variations VO3 will generate from a single prompt. You can select anywhere from 1 to 4 outputs. More outputs give you more options, but also use more credits. Below that you'll find the model selection, which dictates the quality and cost of your video. Here you will see three main choices. Fast, this is a quicker generation mode using an earlier version of the model, VO2, and it costs 10 credits per generation. Then we have quality. This also uses the VO2 model, but it generates videos with higher quality, costing 100 credits. And finally, the star of the show, highest quality, with experimental audio. This is where everything happens, leveraging the brand new VO3 model with its incredible realism and experimental audio capabilities. As you can see, this option uses 100 credits per generation, reflecting the advanced technology at play. For our first experiment, to really showcase what VO3 can do, I'm going to set our outputs per prompt to 1, we want to focus on one output, and for the model, I'm definitely selecting highest quality. Now. Let's punch in our first prompt, ultra realistic lion, moving gracefully through golden grass in slow motion, dust kicks up with each step, the fur reacts to the wind, and the focus shifts smoothly from background to the lion's face. Now let's hit the generate button and give VO3 a few seconds to generate the video, and boom, here it is. Just look at that. 
Seriously, how realistic is that? The way the light catches the golden grass, the subtle kick up of dust with each powerful slow motion step, and the way the lion's mane sways and reacts to the wind. It's absolutely stunning. And that focus shift? It's cinematic. What's even more impressive is that VO3 automatically integrated a natural, subtle audio track that perfectly complements the visuals. I honestly doubt anyone without being told could confidently identify this as AI generated. It has all the hallmarks of a professionally filmed nature documentary. This is just a super cool result. Okay, and that first Lion video was absolutely mind blowing for realism showcasing VO3's incredible ability to generate hyper-realistic scenes. Now let's push it in a different direction and see how it handles intense, fast-paced action. Here's the prompt for our next generation. Formula 1 cars racing at high speed on a sunny day circuit, engines roaring, the camera follows closely as cars speed past in a blur, crowds in the grandstands, cheer and wave flags. Dust and tire smoke trail behind the cars, Dynamic, cinematic action shot. Let's hit generate and give VO3 a few moments to render this complex, action-packed scene. Alright, the result is in. Let's watch the video. Well, this is like a movie scene. The sense of speed is incredible. The way the cars blur past and the camera keeps up with the action is really well done. You can hear the roar of those engines. You can see the crowd in the background. It all comes together to create a seriously compelling dynamic shot. While I wouldn't say this is 100% hyper-realistic in the same way the lion was, but it absolutely 100% fits the vibe and quality of a modern movie scene. It truly captures that cinematic action feel which is incredibly impressive for a text-to-video generation. Okay, that first two results were super cool, but a huge claim about VO3 is its integrated, realistic audio. I mean talking. So let's really put that to the test. We're going to try something completely different now, a scene with natural dialogue between two characters. This will really show us how well VO3 handles not just visuals, but realistic conversations. Here is the prompt we're going to use. A sunny afternoon in a lively city park, a young boy and a young girl, around 20 years old, walk side by side on a tree-lined path. The boy casually turns to the girl and says, Did you hear about Google's new VO3? The girl smiles and replies simply, No. The boy grins and adds, That's pretty cool. You need to check it out. A soft breeze moves their hair, sunlight filters through the leaves, and people are walking or sitting in the background. Cinematic, natural conversation, handheld camera feel. Let's see generate and see what VO3 comes up with for this complex request. Alright, the result is in, let's watch this video and see how it handles not just the visuals but the crucial dialogue and sound. Did you hear about Google's new VO3? No. That's pretty cool, you need to check it out. Well, again, super cool. The scene itself is incredibly realistic. The lighting, the natural movement of the characters, the subtle sway of their hair in the breeze. But what truly stands out here is the realistic talking. The voices sound incredibly natural, not robotic or disjointed, and they are perfectly synced to the characters' lip movements. Plus the background sounds of a lively park add another layer of authenticity, and I think that's pretty impressive. Now I want to test VO3's capabilities in generating animations, specifically a 3D pixel style look, and also explore its image generation feature within the video workflow. This is where things get really interesting. So let's switch gears and head back to our generation settings. Instead of text to video, we're going to select frames to video from this first drop down. This frames to video option is super powerful because it gives you control over the starting and ending points of your animation. You can upload your own existing images as the initial or final frames. Or, and this is what we are going to do, you can actually ask VO3 to generate the image itself. It's an all-in-one creative powerhouse. Let's do it. I'm going to click on the starting frame option. Instead of uploading one, I'll hit generate image right here. And now I'll enter a prompt to create our initial animated image. 
Create a 3D animated scene of a father and son sitting inside a car on a sunny day. The father is driving, smiling warmly, while the son sits next to him, looking happy and relaxed. The car interior is detailed and cozy, with sunlight softly streaming through the windows. The background outside shows a quiet, suburban neighborhood with trees and houses, slightly blurred for a cinematic depth of field. The characters have stylized, friendly features with smooth textures and expressive faces. Landscape format 16x9. VO3 is now generating the image based on our prompt. It will provide us with a few options to choose from. So here we have them, four different images. Let's check all of them. They are all pretty good, really capturing that pixel style aesthetic. I think this one right here is the best. It has the perfect blend of warmth and character for our animation. So let's go ahead and select it as our starting frame. Now that we have our starting frame, it's time to animate it. We'll use a new prompt to guide the video generation. So we need here animate the 3D pixel style father and son sitting in the car. The father drives calmly, hands steady on the wheel. The son relaxes in the passenger seat, gently bobbing his head to the rhythm of chill, soft music playing. Light sunlight streams through the windows, trees slowly pass by outside and the car interior reflects subtle movements. Create a smooth, peaceful driving atmosphere. Let's hit generate and give it a few seconds. Well, here we have it. Let's check out this animated clip. So, for some reason we don't have the audio on this one. I'm not entirely sure why that happened, as VO3 is designed for native audio, but sometimes with experimental features things can behave unexpectedly. However, putting the audio aside for a moment, the animation itself is pretty cool. It's super professional, truly like a high quality 3D pixel style cartoon. The characters move naturally and the satellite streaming in. So it's clear that VO3 is not only pretty good at creating hyper realistic videos, but also excels in generating professional grade animations, despite that little audio hiccup. And let's not forget, it's also incredibly good at generating the initial images, all from within the same integrated platform. It's really an all-in-one creative tool. Alright, my honest impression, VO3 is an absolute game changer at this point. It's pushing the boundaries of what we thought AI video could achieve, offering levels of realism, control and integrated features that are truly mind-blowing. Let's see what will happen in the future, we'll keep you updated. I really hope you enjoyed this video, if so please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more amazing tech explorations. And don't forget to ring the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Also, let me know in the comments below what you thought of VO3, what kind of videos would you create with it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.